At the Mile Girl Airway Center, we want to make sure that we're treatment planning with collaboration in mind because our treatments are only enhanced by our network of referral colleagues who support our treatments. And we can only do so much and have so much influence with what we do, um, but to really have a holistic and comprehensive approach, we need to involve other providers. And so it's important that we are referring to people that we know and trust um, and that we know have the skills that are needed in each patient's case. It's also important that we communicate with them so that we know kind of where each other are in treatment um, and it helps us treatment plan as well. So the other specialists that we might engage with for airway health would be an ear, nose and throat doctor, um, an orthodontist, um, a sleep physician, pediatrician. These are the types of people that we might collaborate with on the medical side. Of course, we have our therapists that we engage with a lot as well. Um, myofunctional therapist, speech therapist, occupational therapist, chiropractors, and physical therapists, and lactation consultants on the infant side. Um, so all of these providers play an important key role in when we're determining what treatments are needed and when we're um, engaging with actual treatment side. But like I said, there's no, there's no one practitioner that's able to do all those things. And so it's important that you work with a team that communicates and is working together um, so that we get a synergistic effect for your treatment. I think one of the unique things about this work and what we do is that we'll literally pick up the phone or text or email and actually communicate with these other providers. And it's not something that is routine or standard in general in healthcare. It takes extra effort and time. It takes relationships that are not always available. And that's part of this, this functional model to make sure that we are setting up our practices in a way to facilitate that ability to be able to do that. Uh, because really that's when patients get the best care. Because there's this collaborative approach and that there are many people involved in any one given plan, it can be confusing and overwhelming for parents and families to determine where do we start first and what do we do first. I really try to serve that coordinator role um, because I get a really big picture view when I'm evaluating patients. Because I have a 3D image of the anatomy, and I have metrics on habits and sleep and symptoms, I really am able to facilitate that process of determining what order things should happen. I really like to be one of the early stops in the process. I may not even be involved in the care at all, but I can help get patients where they need to go um, and save valuable time and energy in that process. Some of the things I tend to see when we're determining what order to do things and making sure that we're kind of going about things the right way, common pitfalls are that we might go see a provider who maybe isn't focused on airway health as part of their practice, and then a family may get an answer that everything is fine and no further treatment is needed. The issue is that the family has kind of checked that box and they feel like they have gone down that road and looked into that and no further action is needed. And so when we hit those roadblocks, those can be a big setback for families um, and patients. It's important to try to get to the right people with the right training in the right circles so that we can get the right answers and treatment. I tell families, you know, follow your mama gut and, you know, if you feel like you need another opinion, get one. Um, there's a lot of great practitioners out there that can help.